Hi, I'm Lou. I'm a poly hobbyist, and chances are you are too. Today I'm going to be talking about debugging Python in the Visual Studio Code ROS extension. I'm going to be covering a few things. First, opening a ROS workspace, setting Python properties, creating a debug profile, starting the debug session, and then we'll talk about uh, multi-node debugging. Let's get started. The Python code I'm going to be using is based on the ROS1 tutorials. So if you go to wiki.ros.org, down to tutorials, select writing a simpler, simple publisher and subscriber in Python, you'll see this is what we're starting with. I've created the code in a workspace that I called Py uh, Noetic Python. We'll do a ROS2 version uh, at a later time. I'm going to launch the Visual Studio Code ROS extension from this workspace because I have set this up for ROS. So you can see that we've selected the ROS distro uh, and we have a ROS master URI. So let's go ahead and launch code from here and we'll switch over to VS Code. The VS Code ROS extension has detected that ROS1 is uh, started uh, and it is correctly labeled as Noetic. The only thing, additional thing that I've done in this workspace is I've created a launch file uh, for both the talker and the talker and listener. The, the ROS extension uh, allows for debugging of launch files only. Uh, it does not do single node launch. One of the interesting things about this is uh, you'll want to carve up your robot into debuggable pieces, not have all of your ROS nodes in one launch file. Instead, have static ones and ones that you want to debug. Carve down to in, an individual ROS node or, or multiple working together, and we'll show both of those. Now that we're in the uh, Visual Studio Code uh, ROS extension, let me go ahead and turn on the screencast mode so you can see where I'm clicking and what I'm typing. I'm going to go ahead and open up the command palette, control shift P, and update the Python path. This will actually update settings in VS Code to ensure that uh, Python dependencies are detected. Now, the other thing you want to make sure is that you're using the correct interpreter. So if you have multiple distributions of ROS and each distribution has a different interpreter, you want to make sure that you're using the interpreter for your distribution. In this case, uh, the one that's deployed with Noetic. This can also be adjusted in settings.json. Now that we actually have a Python, uh, Python code set up for both the talker and listener, let's go ahead and set up a, or do a build. So control shift B will open up the build palette and we're going to select cat can make. This will actually just go quickly run cat can create the build uh, directories and set up an environment that the extension can use for finding the launch file. We've successfully generated the packages. So I'm going to select the run and debug tab, then create a launch.json file. If you have a Python file selected when creating the launch.json file, you'll notice that it'll try and launch the Python debug configurations. This isn't exactly what we want. We want it to find the ROS configurations. So press escape and select a launch file, something other than Python. Then create the launch.json file and you'll see the ROS extension here. We want to do ROS launch and we'll select the beginner tutorials and the talker.launch file and this will create the launch configuration for talker once we have that we want to go ahead back to the talker.python and set a breakpoint we can then go press the start debugging on the debug tab and hopefully hit a breakpoint excellent so you can see we have uh, local variables, uh, hello world, which was com combined with uh, ROS time. We have the publisher object, the rate object, and we can press F10 to step and iterate. And we can see that in our terminal window at the bottom that it is publishing. 
In order to add the second or multiple ROS nodes, we're going to select launch.json, create a new block, and then select the launch file. for the second launch node, or the second launch file. Up here in the debug dropdown, select the second launch configuration. Before we press start, I want to put a breakpoint in listener callback. Now we're going to launch the um, multiple nodes. We can hit our the same breakpoint in Talker and press F5 to keep iterating. If you look in the debug toolbar, at the very end there's a new option that shows two different executables, both the talker and the listener. You'll have one of these for each uh, node that you launch. The currently selected executable is the one that you'll see breakpoints on. So we're not actually hitting any breakpoints in the listener because we don't have that selected. However, if you switch over to listener and press F5, you'll see that we're now receiving callbacks over there. So if you want to bounce back and forth between a publisher and the subscriber, you would first select the, talk, the publisher, press F5, switch over to listener in order to hit the breakpoint and then you can see bouncing back and forth. When you stop multiple nodes, you have to stop each individual one uh, before actually shutting down your ROS composition. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe.